So let's start with Sukhasana. Find any comfortable seat. Either cross legs, one leg in front, one leg at the back, or half lotus. Just take this time to arrive on your mats. Just taking this moment to be aware of your breath and your body. Start to observe your breath as you close your eyes. Just being here at this moment, present. Watching your inhales and exhales. And noticing any sensation you feel in your body as you breathe. Maybe observing your breath, your chest as it rises and falls, and every inhale and exhale. Or just even feeling your breath passing through your nostrils, every in breath and out breath. Just taking a moment here. Find that connection with your breath and your body. Breathing in and breathing out. Then gradually start to lengthen and deepen your breath. Taking a long deep inhale through your nose, feeling in your belly. Then exhaling through your nose. Long inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Just maintain these long deep breaths throughout the practice. If you have your own practice with you, your pranayama or jayi breath, you can activate it now. Otherwise, just stay with your long deep breaths. A few more rounds of this, we do. Then gently open your eyes. Go into your Vada Konasana. Press your feet together, allowing your knees to fall on the sides. We're not going to go deep here. We're just going to add a little movement to start. Breathing in and breathing out. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, open your feet up and release your feet on the side. So stay here for a few more breaths. Then inhale, feet together. Then exhale, open your feet wide. So you're feeling your body rocking forward and back, opening your hips, engaging your core lightly. Then inhale, feet together. Then exhale, feet out. Lift up. Inhale, feet together. And then exhale, feet down. Stay here for a few breaths again. Just gently adding movements as you start your practice. And then inhale, bring your knees together, feet together, lower your feet down. So you're going to go through some gentle nagasana to start with. Hands behind your knees. Keep your spine upright, chest lifted, and begin to lift your feet off the mat as you lean back. For now, allow your hands to be behind your knees, supporting your legs. Five breaths here. Four. Three. Two. And one. So I said you're going to do a lot of force of your here. Lower your feet down. And relax. 
Let's stand fingers together in front of your heart center and start to lift your feet up. Keep your knees bent and stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your feet down, hands to the side. Inhale here. Then exhale with your feet up. This time, hands on the side. Again, if this is too hard for you, you can just keep your hands behind your knees. And stay for three, two, and one. Both arms reaching on the right side. Your left arm pressing against your right knee. Keep your legs and arms active. Stay for three, two, and one. Another three breaths on the left side. Right arm pressing against your left knee. The left hand reaching on the left side. And stay for another three. Two. And one. Lower feet down the knees. Inhale here. And then exhale. Cross your shins. Hands on the floor. Lift your hips up. Moving here. All four. Stable up. Find the wrists on their shoulders, knees on their hips. Separate your knees as wide as your hips. And find a neutral spine. You can keep your toes stuck or on top, whichever you like. So moving to our cat and cow, as you inhale, begin to drop your belly down. So look up, look up, chest forward. Then exhale, go into your cat, rounding your back. Slightly leaning back. Shake your chest as you press your hands down and push your feet back towards the ceiling. Inhale, belly down, so go up, look up. And then exhale, round your back like a cat. Inhale, belly down, so go up, look up. And then exhale, round your back. So for the next few rounds, move at your own pace. You can, you're free to add any movement you like. You can swing your hips side to side, or make circles with your wrist. Just warming up the wrist here. Since we're going to use our wrist a lot this morning. Good morning, everyone. So stay in center of your neutral spine, of your toes, and start to lift your knee off the mat, activating your core hands, pressing down against the mat. And stay here, hovering for five, four, three, two, and one, with your hips up, moving to your first downward facing dog. So press your hands firmly on the ground. Spread your fingers wide. And push your hips up toward the ceiling. Chest moving toward your thigh. Relaxing your head between your arms. Your heels may be on the floor or not. If it's not, slightly bend your knee. And hug your belly in to keep it lightly active. And for the next five breaths, start to pedal your feet, bending one leg after the other. Warming up here for five, four, three, two, and one, stay here, find stillness for a few breaths. Maybe even moving your head or nodding your head left, yes or no. Just to loosen up the neck. Then start to lift your heels up, staying on your toes, spinal wave, moving to your first leg. So feel free to adjust your feet, making sure your feet is, your legs fully extended. 
keeping your hands active, keeping your legs active as well, moving your shoulders over your wrist. Hip slow, bend in, stay for five, four, three, two, and one, the hips up, downward facing dog. Couple of breaths. And then we're gonna do some plank flows. Inhale for the plank. Exhale, hips up. Inhale for the plank. Exhale, hips up. Inhale for the plank. And then exhale, lifts up. Inhale forward to plank. Hips up, last one. Forward to plank. And then hips up. Down your facing dog. Couple of breaths. And then start to walk your feet toward the tops of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Hands can stay on your shin or fingers on the floor. Keep your back straight and exhale, fold forward. You can slightly bend your knees. And stay here for three, two, and one. Then slowly sweep your arms up. Hands your heart center, Sebastian. A few breaths here, staying still, being here present at this moment, and breathe. So a few rounds of half stand salutation. Lift your arms up, inhale, palms together, look up, then exhale, holding forward or dive down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Then sweep your arms up, reach up. And then hands your heart center, Samasti. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Then inhale, sweep your arms up. And then hands your heart center. Inhale, arms up. Then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then sweep your arms up. And then hands to your heart center, Samasthiti. Hands to your side, mountain pose with the dasa. Then inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Keep your back straight. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down, step your left foot back. Lower your left knee down. Make sure to slide your left knee further at the back, but keep your right knee above your right heel. Then hands, make your knees pressing on the top of your right knee. Hug your belly in, feel your ribs. And stay here for five, four, Three, two, and one. Straighten your right leg, lower your hands down on the side. To stretch your right leg. Stay for a three. Keep your spine long, two, and one. Bend your right knee, hands down. Step your back to the left knee up. Then you're gonna step your left foot behind your right, intertwining your legs. And then walking your hands toward the right side, finding a twist. And stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly walking hands back to center. Inhale, halfway lift with your intertwined legs. And then exhale, fold. And then sweep your arms up, reach up. This time, grab your left wrist. So you're keeping your feet intertwined 
Bend towards your right side. So we like this. Stay for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly back to center. Palms together, reach up. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Set your left foot back. Hands down. Right foot steps back. Moving to your plank. Lower your knees down. Tops of your feet on the mat. Bend your elbow, chest and chin down. Scooping forward. Lower your arms to the side. Lifting up your locus. Lifting your feet up. Lifting your arms up. Chest up. Shoulders rolling at the back. Stay for an inhale. And then exhale, lower your hands down, tuck your toes, hips up, downward facing dog. Same for three, two, and one. Stepping your left foot forward, followed by your right, halfway left. Exhale, fold. And then sweep your arms up. Answer to our center, Samasti. Answer side, the Dasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands down, right foot steps back. Lower your right knee down. And then, interlace your hands, pressing the top of your left knee. Feel your ribs in, belly in. And keep this post active in driving your left knee towards the back and your right knee moving forward, keeping your thigh engaged. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten your left leg. Keep your hips above your right knee. You can adjust your feet. So you're not going to go deep here, just finding a gentle stretch on your left leg. Stay for three, two, and one. Lift up or bend your left knee, hands down, tuck your back toe, right knee up. Then you're stepping your right foot behind your left foot, intertwining your legs. If you can, touch your pinky toes together, then three. And then start to walk your hands towards your left side, finding a twist here. And stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly back to center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then sweep your arms up. So find balance here and be challenging with your legs and your point like that. And this time, grabbing your right wrist. And then start to bend towards your left side. And stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center, your palms together, reach up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Then step your right foot back. Plant your hands down, step your left foot back with plank. Lower your knees down, tops of your feet on the mat. Bend your elbow, chest and chin down, but scooping forward. Arms on the side, lift your chest up, hands up, feet up, locus. Inhale here. Then exhale, lower it down, hands down on the side, and your toes, hips up. Down your facing dog. Staying for a tree. Two, and one. Stepping your right foot forward, followed by your left. Halfway left. Exhale, fold. And then sweep your arms up. Hands your heart center, Samasti. Hands your side, Tadasana. Two rounds of three eight. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, stepping both feet back to plank. 
See, so you, you have an option here to stay in your plank or to lower your knees down, but keeping your spine straight. So whichever option you like, go there. But if you want to build strength, since we're working on our core, try to stay in your plank. Inhale here, then start to shift your weight forward, moving on your toes, bringing your shoulders over your wrist. Start to bend your elbow, moving to your low push-up or chaturanga, and then lower down completely or all the way down. Moving to high cobra, keeping your elbows bent. Elbows close to your side. Inhale. Or if you want to go to your upward facing dog, straighten or extend your arms straight. Chest forward. Tops of your feet are pressing, lifting your knee caps up. Inhale. Then exhale. Tuck your toes, hips up. Downward facing dog. Relax your head between your arms. Stay for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Option to walk your feet or the tops of your mat, to step, or even to lightly hop. Bend your knees to forward between your hands and hop. Halfway there. Exhale, fold. And then sweep your arms up. And to heart center, Samasti. Then inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, stepping both feet back or jump back. Plank. Keep your knees up or keep your knees down. Bend your elbow, chaturanga. Inhale, up facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. See another five breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one. Start to bend your knees and look forward. Walk, step, or lightly hop over the top of your neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees if you need. Bend, sweep your arms up as you inhale. And then exhale, hands your heart center, samasthiti, hands your side, that's it. For this one, for the next surya, you can keep your feet together or hips width apart. Depending on how tight your hamstrings are. Start the lower hips down, bend your knees, fingers facing the floor, pull your shins back, belly in, arms reaching up. Good Katasana. Stay in for a tree. Reach should be on your heels. Again, look down if it's your toes. Two. And one. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down. Step both feet back to plank. Take your vinyasa. Knees down, your knees up. Bend your elbow, chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling your right leg up. Exhale, step it forward between your hands, spinning your back heel flat, bending your right knee, and then start to lift your arms up, warrior one. So just here, you can move your right hip slightly on the right side. So you can allow your left hip to move forward and right hip to move back. Left toes are pointing on the side. Again, feel your ribs in. Arms reach up. Fingers active, reaching in both directions. In all directions, upward. Stay for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Exhale your hands down. Right foot steps back to plank. Bend your elbow, shift your weight forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, up, right up. Exhale, step it forward, close your left thumb. 
Lower back heel down, left knee bent. Keep your arms up. Again, feel free to adjust your warrior one. If you need to widen it to allow your right hip to move forward, then do so. Five. Bring your hips in. Two. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, hands down. Set your left foot back to plank. Bend your elbow, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down and facing dog. Five deep breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend your knees and forward. Walk, step, or lightly hop. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, hips low, arms up. With katasana, chair. Inhale here, then exhale, reach up. Hands to heart center. Hands to side. Next round, the move to her. Swirl your knee with one breath and one motion. Inhale, bend your knees, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step both feet back to flank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, knee right leg up. Exhale, step it forward, back to flat, right knee bent. Take a long inhale up. Exhale, hands down. Right foot steps back. Bend your elbow, chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, down, facing dog. Inhale, up, up. Exhale, step it forward, back and flat, left knee bent. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Left foot steps back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, down, facing dog. Take five deep breaths. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bend your knees in the forward. Walk step or light knee up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sit slow, arms up, chair, with katasana. Then exhale, reach up. Hands to your heart center. And hands on your side. And breathe. Okay, going back to your chair. Bend your knees, sit slow, arms up. Yeah, stay here. Three breaths. Two. And one. Inhale here, then exhale both arms reaching on your right side. Press toward your thigh. Inhale, arms up. Then exhale both arms reaching on your left side. Inhale, arms up. Then exhale, hands over the back, chest to your thigh. Inhale, arms up. Then interlace your hands, pressing forward. Chest toward your thigh. Keep your spine parallel to the floor. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your hands down. Fold forward. Straighten your legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down. Step your left foot back. Keep your left heel lifted. Bend your right knee. Run your slouch. Inhale here. Stay for three, two, and one. Press your left hand down, right arm up. Stay for three, two, and one. Moving to the balls, to the outside edges of your feet. So, right foot on the side, left foot on the side. Lower your hips down. And we 
reach back. Stay for three. Two. Three. You need to adjust your right foot if you find the hip too tight. And one. Then inhale. Lift your hips up. Right arm reaching forward. Then exhale lower down. Reach back. Inhale, reach up and forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach up forward. Exhale, lower hips down. Reach up and lower down. Last two, reach up and forward. Lower down. Last one, reach up and forward. And lower down. And reach up again. Going back to your twist. Then slowly using your core, lift your arms up. Revolve crescent lunge. Stay for two. Two. And one. Inhale, arms up. Then exhale, lower back heel down, open up. Warrior two. Bend your right knee. Make sure you get to your toes when you look down or not. Move your right knee out slightly on the side. Spread your arms wide. Gaze at your right fingertips. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your right palm reach forward. Right arm up. Reverse. And stay for three, two, and one. Back to warrior two. Elbow lightly on your right thigh, left arm sweeps over and up, open your chest naturally. You can keep your right elbow here on your thigh, or lower down inside or outside of your right foot. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come up, back to warrior two. Flipping your palm, reaching forward, right arm up, inhale. And then exhale, hands and key, straighten your right leg, shorten your stance. Reach forward, Tirti Konasana, moving to the back. Chest open, hand can stay on your shin, fingers on the floor, or back of the hand against your ankle. Me, I prefer my fingers on the floor so I can push and open my chest up. Lifting my left arm toward the ceiling. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Start to bend your right knee. Placing your, your hand in front, being your foot away. So if you have a block, you can use block to find your back. Or if you have your water bottle. If not, if you don't need it, then lift your left leg up. Half move. Stay for three. Two. And one. Using your core. Start to raise your hip. Or position your hip down. Moving to your warrior three. Hands your heart center. And stay for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Again, keep your core slowly going up. Hug your left knee in. Stay for three, two, and one. Extend your left leg, arms up. Another three, two, and one. Let's set your left and back. Straighten your right leg. Hips straight forward. You can adjust your knee if you want to shorten your stance. And then exhale, fold forward, halfway. Hands down. Pyramid. Inhale here. Breathe for five. If you wish to go deeper, you can. Four. Three. Two. And one. Halfway lift, left hand down, inside or outside, right arm up. Again, pull your belly in, squeezing, stay for three, create space. Two, three, 
two, and one. Lower your hands down inside your right foot. You can shimmy your right foot out on the side and set the left foot forward. Outside of your left foot. And then lower hips down, interlace your hands, palms together, moving to squat. Stay here for five, pressing your hands together, feeling your arms. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly come up, inhale. So your legs should be back with the part. Then exhale, lower down. Again, halfway. Inhale, arms up. Then exhale, lower down. Arms up. Exhale, lower down. Last two, arms up. Lower down. Arms up. And then lower down. Then Hands your heart center, a last of the squat. Stay here for three, two, and one. Lower your hands down to the side. Feet, lower bum down, feet together, knees together, the basket. Hands behind your knees, lift your chest up, keep your spine straight, up. Arms to the side. Stay for three, two, and one, and cover low, keeping your back, mid back on the ground, but lifting your shoulders up. up. Three, two, and one. We're going to do half boat and full boat. Inhale up, exhale lower down, inhale up, exhale lower down, up, exhale lower down, inhale up, exhale lower down. Last two, inhale up. Exhale, lower down, last one. Inhale up, then exhale, lower down, and then cross your shins. And step that back, plank. Or downward facing dog or child's pose. So rest here for five, four, three, two, and one. Going back to your downward facing dog. Again, lift your right leg up. Sorry, lift your left leg up. Left leg. And then step your left foot forward between your hands. Moving to your runner's stunch, bending your left knee. Right heel is still lifted. Fingers on the floor, chest moving forward for a tree. Two, and one. Lower your right hand down, left arm reach up. Stay for a three, two, and one. Moving to the outer base of your feet. And then lower your right hip down on the floor. Left hand reaching toward the back. Inhale here. And then you're going to do some rounds of stretches for the left side of your body. Inhale, lift up. Then exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Last two. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Last one. Inhale, lift up. Then exhale, lower down. And lift up, back to your twist. Three breaths. Two. And one. Then slowly coming up. Revolve crescent lunge. So find balance here. Stay for three. Two. And one. Inhale back to center. Then exhale, open your arms wide. Warrior two. So just your feet. Bend your left knee. Belly in, left moving out, so you can see your big toe. Spread your arms wide, face with your left fingertips. For five, four, make sure you're breathing. Three, 
two, and one. Keep your left palm reach forward, left palm reverse. Same for three, two, and one. Back to warrior to extended side angle. Elbow light on your left thigh, right arm sweeps over and up over your head. Option to stay here or left hand down. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly cart your arms up back to warrior two. Flipping your palm, reaching forward, inhale up. Exhale, hands and feet straighten your left leg. Shorten your stance if you need. Reach forward, take an asana. Right arm up. Chest open, lean back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Start to bend your left knee. Right hand here again. Move your left hand to the front. Be your foot away, then shift your weight forward, right leg up. Half move. Right arm up if you can. You can look down or look up. Stay for five, four, three. Keep your right leg active. Two, as if you're pushing something behind you. And one. With control, hug your belly in, keep your core engaged. You're shifting your hips toward the floor as your heart center. Why are you doing? Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly with control, bring your right leg up. Come up right, hug your right leg in. Stay for three. Two and one. Extend your right leg. Arms up. Another three. Two and one. Step your right hip back. Straighten your left leg. Adjust your right foot. You can shorten your stance. Right toe should be pointing on the side. Spear hips forward. Lift your chest up. Inhale and then exhale. Fold right way. You can lower your hands. Stay here in your pyramid for five breaths. You can go deeper. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Right hand on the floor, left arm up. Your right hand can stay inside of your left foot or outside. Squeeze your belly in, breathe, squeeze your can, twist more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your hands down, place your hands inside of your left foot. Feel throw your left foot out toward the outside hand. And then set the right foot outside of your right hand. Then inhalation hands together, palms together, lower hips down. Stay in your squat for three, two, and one. Slowly come up, inhale, then exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower down. And arms up. Exhale over down, last two, arms up. Exhale over down, last one, arms up. Lower down, stay for three, two, and one. Hands down on the floor, lower your hips down, manasana as well. So palms together, knees pushing in, and elbow pushing your knees out after. Keep your spine long shoulders away from your ears. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands on your side, lower, bum down, knees together, and another round to offer the basso that poses. Our bow, our boat.
Lift your feet up. Hands behind your knees. Arms on the side. Stay for three. Two. And one. So half the basana and full boat. Ten rounds. Lower down. Lift up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. That's one. Ten. Cross your shins, hands down. Step back, down, facing dog. Stay in your down dog or child's pose. Lower down. Lower head down. And breathe for five breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one. How did that go? So we're going to our down and facing dog. So for this one, you're just you're gonna use your core heavily for this one, and it would help you find your appropriate down the best well. So what we're gonna do? Your right hand is pressing down. You're gonna lift your left arm and find your left shin, knee, or ankle, whichever you can reach. And from here. Start to lift your right leg up. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. You control lower right foot down. Push your left hand in front again. Back your down and facing dog. Or you can lower your knees down and rest. How did that go? So for that downward balance, you really have to find the right balance of the weight between your hands and your feet. Keep your core engaged. Keep your stability engaged, your core engaged. To keep your center of gravity. So you're going to do that on the other side. So find your downward. Again, press your hands firmly. This time your right hand, so my mat is really slippery. I will use a towel. So right hand, or either right ankle, shin or knee, whichever you can reach. So press your right hand down, left hand is pressing down. And start to lift your left leg up. With control. Stay for five. Four. Three, two, and one. You control lower left foot down. And lower hands down, lower your knees down. Sit on your heels. Take a few breaths. We'll do another round of that. So lower your hands down again, back to your down and facing toe. So right hand on the floor. So earlier you were holding your shin or your ankle. This time, if you can, just try left arm towards the back. Then start to lift your right leg up. And stay for five. Keep your core engaged. Four. Three. Continue to press your chest toward your thigh. Two. And one, you control lower your right foot down, lower your left hand down, and lower your knees down. Let me know what you're doing. So moving to the other side. So go back to your down dog. Again. If you can try to reach your right arm towards the back, but if it's too hard for you, again, hold your leg, your right leg. So again, pressing your left hand down, chest or your thigh. 
Start to move your left leg up, you can show. Let's stay for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lower left foot down. Right hand down, knees down. So we have one more round. So try to challenge yourself, try to do the poses, and just try to find your edge. If you cannot do the harder ones, just go to the easier options for this one, like holding your legs. But for the third one, try to play around. Try to get that attitude up, just try it. You're gonna do a twist for this one. So we'll start with the left hand reaching for your right leg. So you're twisting and looking under, your, under my right underarm. So pressing your right hand down, pressing your right, your right leg, right foot down. With control, start to lift your left leg up. Maybe tiptoeing first, then lift your left leg up. Let's say for five. Oops. So for me, it's even harder. Just for three, two, and one. Lower left hand down and left foot down. Lower knees down. Ooh. Okay, one more round of this. Back here, down dog. So the trick is you're sitting in your core and beach, hugging your belly in. Keeping your ribs here, keeping your back straight, and pushing your hands, your chest toward the back. This time, my right hand to my left ankle. So keep your arms here and your legs here. You can take them first, and then slowly with control with your right leg. Try to stay for three, two, and one, lower your right foot down, right hand down, knees down. Back to your work, good access. How was it? Breathe here. Okay, extending your legs forward. Moving into your passion with the NASA. So go to your staff pose, hands on the side, chest lifted, spine long. You're going to lift one leg after the other. This time you're lifting your right leg. Stay here. Keep your core engaged, squeezing your right thigh towards your bed. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one, lower your right foot down. Other side, down. Okay, squeeze your belly in, lift your left leg up as high as you can. Let's stay for five, four, three, two, and one, lower, lower your leg down. So if you have a towel with you, you can place your towel on the face. You're gonna try Slide your legs towards the back. So press your hands down. Lower down towards your thigh. Go as deep as you can, but not forcing it. Keep your elbows close to your side. Then start to lift your hips up. And stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower thigh. Breathe. One more of that. I know it's hard, but try, try and try. Eventually you'll get there. And it's a practice, so you practice every time. Okay, second round. Lower your chest down to your thigh, hands on the side. And start to lift your hips up. Slide your legs toward the back as high as you can. Let's stay for 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. And breathe. Or three, two, and one. Okay. If your arms up, inhale, and then exhale, just fold forward here, passion of the next. If you cannot reach your feet, then your knees. And just hug your knees from under. Stay for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. So you got, I'm gonna face the right side. We're bending your right knee. Then placing your right knee over to your left leg. You're gonna twist right hand behind your back leg. Lift your chest up, left and spine, twist to your torso. Look over your right shoulder. My arm can hug your knees or hook. I say for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly back to center. We're going to twist on the left side, equalize. Press your hands down. So just like our chaturanga, bend your elbow, fold forward. I say for three, two, and one, lift your head up. So you're gonna go for grass up. Right hand to your left foot. So if you cannot reach, if you have your towel with you, you can use your towel to wrap it around and hold. For now, lift your left leg up. Five breaths. Four. If you don't have a towel, you can hold your shin. Three. Two and one. More left of down. This time, both hands on the floor. Make sure your hands is close to your bum. Keep your shoulders above your wrist. And then press down, lift your hips up. Keeping your heel on the floor. Stay for three, two, and one. Lower it down. Okay. This time, we're going both movements. Right hand to your left foot. Make sure your right foot is pressing down freely as well. Point your right toes forward. Left hand close your bum. So you gotta lift your right leg up. Then left hand and right foot pressing down. Lift your hips up. So both feet and your hips is lifted. Fold forward. Let's take for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Lower down. So that's your baby grasshopper. So if you didn't lift up, it's fine. Even if you keep your hips or your legs on the floor, just the effort of doing it. And wherever you are now, it's okay. Just practice again, and then eventually you get there. This is one of the easier arm balances, actually with the support of the feet and the hands. So doing it on the other side. Up face the left side. Bend your left knee. Bring your left foot over to your right. Left hand behind your back, keeping your spine straight, twist. Right arm hugging your right knee or both. Look over your left shoulder. Stay for five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly back to center, then you're gonna fold to your right side, equalize the toes. Again, shut it on the arms, bend the elbow, fold forward. For three, two, and one. If you head up, point your left toes to the front. So making sure your left foot is pressing firmly on the ground. 
Again, left hand to your right foot. Either you're holding the outer edge of your right foot or you're holding the shins or you're using a towel or a strap. So first, lift your right leg up. Five breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lower your right foot down. This time, both hands on the floor. Lift your hips up. Keeping your right heel on the floor. Straighten your arms. Stay for five. Four. Three, two, and one. Lower it down. All right, this is it. We're going to combine both movements. Left hand grabbing the outer edge of your right foot. Right hand maybe close, a bit close to your right thumb. So lift your right hand up first, and then lift your hips up. Again, keep your belly engaged, firmly hugging in, then fold forward. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Okay, extend your legs to the front. Give yourself a clap. Okay, arms reaching forward. Inhale. And then exhale in five counts to lower down your ass. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees to your chest. And just allow yourself to rock side to side. So you did a lot of core work today. This is the foundation for a lot of headstands. We're gonna for our balances. Arms on the side, allow your knees to fall on the right side. Left arm extends, gaze at your left. Five breaths. So when we talk about core strength and core stability, a lot of people think that it's the same thing. You can be strong on your core, but not a lot of people are stable. When we talk about stability, it's about holding the poses, keeping your spine straight and stable to hold the poses. A lot of rock climbers are really good in core stability, aside from strength. And then back to center, hugging knees again, take an inhale. And then exhale, lower down the right side. Left side, right arm extends. Five breaths. And then back to center, hugging knees to your chest. If you wish to go to your happy baby, then do this over your arms here. Pulling your knees back. Making sure tailbone is on the ground and rock side to side if you wish. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your feet down, extend your legs toward the edges of your neck. Arms on the side. Moving your final pose, your shavasana. Start your last year. Start to soften your face, your jaw. Allow the normal flow of your breath to come in. And allow your body to feel better. So you can stay here in Shavasana as long as you like. Or you can stay here for three to five minutes. Let's send up your uh, meditation or just try to start to end your practice. Say, someone here in your Shabbat. I 
I'll leave you here in peace. Hoping you have a good day ahead. Stay safe, stay, stay at home, and master. This is great. Thank you for practicing. Thank you.